Motivating yourself after a setback can take twice as much energy because let's be honest, it's much easier to continue a routine with momentum. If you break that streak, no matter how consistent you were before, it can take extra effort to jump back onto that habit. In today's video, I'm going to talk about five ways to overcome setbacks, and this relates specifically to fitness routines. We all experience setbacks. Not one person has a perfect track record. The stark difference between those who succeed and those who don't are how you handle failures or setbacks. The first suggestion I have is to do partial workouts. When you're in a slump or just feeling down about yourself, even a 30 minute ride can seem daunting. There's no shame in doing what you can or even setting a goal to do 50% of a particular workout. The satisfaction you will get after from just doing something will add up and help you feel even an ounce more positive about yourself. My preferred form of cardio includes biking or running and I'm fully obsessed with the Peloton app because aside from getting a killer workout, you also get a ton of motivation or pep talks from the instructors and honestly, you can treat them as your fitness cheerleaders. That's their goal, to motivate, inspire, and get you moving. We are often so hard on ourselves and tend to diminish our own abilities, so just hearing someone say that you've got this, cliche yet so simple and true, can mentally help pull you out of your funk. On the tread, I've been lately loving Jess King for her peppy spirit and strong positivity. It also helps that she admits that running isn't her favorite form of cardio, so that makes it more relatable, especially if running isn't your forte. I don't have the Peloton tread, but I have been running on the Gerodo treadmill, which has an auto incline feature, and honestly, I don't feel like I'm missing out. It has an extra long and wide belt, giving you more leeway, and it feels quite durable during my workouts. I did get a chance to test the new Peloton tread in one of their showrooms, so I intend on purchasing it when it comes available, but for now, this treadmill is more than sufficient. The second suggestion I have is to try something new. Recently, I've been trying rowing. The rowing machine I have is from DoeFit. It's currently $229 on Amazon and has magnetic resistance. I'm definitely new to rowing and I'm still working on my form, but it's a fun new endeavor. The app I've been using is Hydro, which has been called the Peloton of Rowing and includes live and encore classes in their library. All of their classes are filmed in an outdoor setting in the actual water, so you can imagine during your workout that you are rowing outdoors with them. The third suggestion I have is quite simple, it's to buy new workout clothes. Nowadays, athletic wear is quite affordable, and honestly, Target has a pretty good offering. So I just received a package from Lululemon in the mail. So this is what the Epta Street tank looks like. So this tank has a ribbed material with the stripes facing in a vertical direction. Now here's the Epta Street tank in the color white. And lastly, we have the Align tank, once again in a size eight. I am pairing them with some Lululemon Peloton leggings, and I feel like it fits perfectly together. There's just like a tiny little gap in between, but it's not overly cropped, which I do like. You can easily put on a jacket over this if you want to be more covered up. For anyone that loves the Lululemon Peloton leggings, I would highly recommend to try the Align tank because I feel like it looks really great together. It's a very simple and clean look, and you can also obviously work out on this. It's very comfortable. So I'm testing out these cycling shorts that I got from Amazon. This is what they look like. They are padded cycling shorts, so they're more meant for like a road bike, but I am using them on my Peloton just to test it out and see. The next suggestion I have is to determine one area you're moving forward in to offset your setback. Focus on something you're doing well and don't overemphasize something you need work in. The last suggestion I have is to not weigh yourself if you are someone who pegs your happiness to a number on the scale. If you really are a numbers person and must see where you stand, might I suggest a body composition smart scale that also tracks your body fat percentage, water, muscle mass, BMI, bone mass, among others. The scale I've been using for almost a year is the Aero Smart Scale, and they also have a corresponding app to graph your metrics. In conclusion, I hope these five points were helpful. And as Peloton instructor Kendall Tool, a former boxer, always says, they may knock you down, but they will not knock you out. And they can knock you down, but baby, they never knock you out. Don't stay in that fight. 
With that being said, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what do you do to get yourself motivated.